In this video, we'll produce a sales budget. What is a sales budget? In the master budget, the first operating budget is the sales budget. The sales budget is important because it's used as the basis for subsequent operating budgets, such as the production budget. In fact, it's used to produce all of the other budgets. The sales budget is derived from the sales forecast. It represents management's best estimate of the period's expected sales volume. The sales budget is incredibly important and must be developed with care because, if inaccurate, it will affect all the other operating budgets and the financial budgets. Let's use an example to demonstrate the sales budget process. Gratman Manufacturing produces a component which is used in the production of large-scale mining equipment. The unit selling price for each component is $300. The company develops quarterly budgets and has asked you to prepare a monthly operating budget for the first three months and the quarter. Projected sales in units for the first five months are as follows. January 8,000 units, February 9,000 units, March 9,500 units, April 9,600 units, May 9,200 units. Step 1 of producing a sales budget is to determine the sales budget formula. Estimated unit sales multiplied by estimated sales price per unit is equal to total sales revenue. We now have to take this formula and apply it in Step 2 when we prepare the sales budget chart. We start with the title of the budget, including the company name, Gratman Manufacturing, the title of the budget, sales budget, and the period of time covered for the quarter ended March 31st. We then move on and add the necessary columns. Since we're completing the budget for the months and the quarter, we have one column for the descriptions, three columns for the months, and then one column for the quarter. A total of five columns. The headings are description, each of the months, January, February, and March, and finally the total column, which is named first quarter. We can now use our formula from step one. Estimated unit sales multiplied by estimated sales price per unit is equal to total sales revenue. We can apply that to our chart in the description column. Estimated unit sales is in the first row. Estimated sales price per unit is in the second row. And the total sales revenue is in the third row. We then move in to fill in the information from the information provided in the question. We have the estimated units sold, also called budgeted units sold. January 8,000, February 9,000, and March 9,500. We also have the unit selling price of $300. We can now place that information in the chart, including the units across the first row. January 8,000, February 9,000, and March 9,500. The first quarter column, which is also called simply total, is the summation of the months. 8,000 plus 9,000 plus 9,500 is equal to 26,500 units. It should be noted that the summing of the columns is appropriate to obtain the necessary number of units in the first quarter column, but this is not always the appropriate process for every single row. For instance, for the estimated sales price row, which in this case is $300 per unit, we place the same amount in every column, January through to the first quarter, $300. We now apply the formula, estimated unit sales multiplied by the estimated sales price per unit. For January, 8,000 units multiplied by $300 per unit is equal to $2,400,000 in total sales revenue. For February, 9,000 units multiplied by $300 per unit is equal to $2,700,000 in total sales revenue. March, 9,500 units multiplied by $300 per unit is equal to $2,850,000 of total sales revenue. For the first quarter, 26,500 units multiplied by $300 per unit is equal to $7,950,000. Note that we could also calculate the first quarter column as $2,400,000 plus $2,700,000 plus $2,850,000. This is also equal to $7,950,000. Regardless of which way you do it, the total must be the same. This is the completed sales budget for the first three months and the quarter. Remember that the sales budget is the starting point for every budgeting process and that all of the other budgets flow from this one set of assumptions, the volume of sales expected in the future. Note also that the budget indicates that the sales fluctuate each month. If we had been completing the sales budget for the year, we would have seen that sales fluctuate by season. 
Depending on the industry, sales may be highest during the summer months. For example, an ice cream shop would have the highest sales in the summer months. Sales may be highest during the fall and early winter, such as for a toy store, which sells the majority of their products during the Christmas season. The estimated sales in units must take into account the appropriate estimated unit sales based on the industry and the expected future sales. We have now completed the first budget in the master budget, the sales budget. This is also the first budget from the operating budgets. This is the most important budget, but also the easiest to produce. Thanks so much for watching.